Hello everyone, just a quick video as some things are going to be changing on Teams. So I thought I'd do a quick video now just to give you a little heads up of what might be changing on a few of your assignments and how it's not to worry. I think teachers are going to go over it tomorrow in their first live lesson. But just in case you want to get ahead of the game, I'm going to show you what has changed. So what you're going to notice on a few of your assignments is, and I'll just open my screen up here. So... Some on your assignments are going to look a little bit different. So if I go on assignments here and I click on tomorrow's math work, for example, um, instead of the um, normal PDF that is there, um, we now have a class notebook. And the reason we've done that is because this allows students to work on the document live. So it's going to remove the... Um, the, the act of printing the work so you can do it online. So for those with tablets or a computer or things that are even a phone, uh, you'll be able to write straight onto the document. Now, not all of our tasks are going to be on this. So it's going to lead lots into maths and things like that where you can draw on the on the screen. So I'm just going to open this up um, and click on it. And what it's going to take you to is something called um, Class Notebook. And it opens up your work just like a PDF inside so what you can do if you don't like this is you can go back to the old way of just printing this out so you can just file and print it and print this page and um, and you can do it online uh, offline sorry and then upload it as normal so there's no difference there however for those children with ipads or with a very careful mouse and things like that you can then draw straight onto this so this is the year three work for tomorrow so it'll heads up for those if you go along to here you can go to the draw tool now, from the draw tool, you can then select a pencil or a pen and the colour, and you can then draw straight onto the work. Now, there's no need to save. Um, if you can see in this top corner, it's automatically saving as you go. So I'm doing a little bit of work here. It's going to automatically save as I go. And then I could do my little bit of working out where I'm going to break this up into the two different sections and then work it out divided by three. So I could do all my work on here. Now I'm using the mouse here, um, but if you had a touch screen, you could just write straight onto it. If you make a mistake, there's a rubber, you can then rub out, which I'm gonna do now. Or if you would prefer, you can type into this. So there is a way of just using this tool here and you can type into that and just put that in there. And then you can actually drag that into the right section. Okay, so it allows you to work live on the documents. Now, I apologise this hasn't come sooner. Um, it's just one of those things we have to learn to use. So um, feel free to start using this as of tomorrow. Not all your lessons are going to have this. Um, you can then close it. If you get halfway through it and close it by mistake, it's going to be automatically saved when you next go on it. So you don't have to start again. So there's no losing of work if it's automatically saved online. Just make sure that that tick is there. So once again, you go, it'll start off in home, go straight to draw if you want to draw on it, and then you can put that into there. You can also add extra work at the bottom and just carry on going at the bottom there or do any work on the side. And um, Remember, wait till that is saved. Once you get the green tick, the faster you're in it is, the quicker that'll work. Green tick, oh God, just a black tick there, sorry. Close that, and if I went back on it, you can see that this work is still saved. OK, and you can actually go back and say, oh, I've made a mistake there and get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of this because this is actually on a student's profile here. Um, I don't want to give them any help and hand um, on their work tomorrow or ruin their work for tomorrow, shall I say. So that's a new way of accessing the work and doing it. Hopefully it makes it a little bit more fun as well, especially for those with tablets um, that can really write on the screen. Uh, there will be ways of zooming in as well. Um, so... Um, I don't know whether it's going to be two fingers for you or however you're going to do it, depending on what device you've got. So zooming in to make that a little bit easier for you as well. Um, so hopefully this makes it a little bit more interactive. Once you've done that, you can then turn it in. Or if you're taking a picture, you can still just add your work there. So if you're printing it off and then adding it, it works the same way of adding work there and then turning it in. Hopefully that is useful. And I know a few parents have asked for um, this as well. So um I'll stop the share there. Um, hopefully that's helpful. I know a few parents have asked for 
um, work to be able to be used online as well and not be able to print it off because I know some people don't have access to printers. So uh, hopefully that's okay. Any questions, please speak to your teacher in one of your breakout rooms. They've all, they all um, know about this now. So hopefully they'll go through that at half nine or nine o'clock-ish, whenever your first lesson is, um, to get that going. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time today um, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.